Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you a little bit of Easy Diffusion, which is a program which makes it really easy to run Stable Diffusion. So I'm running Ubuntu 24.04 on my Firebat with the Intel N100 and 16 gigs of memory. So first, um, I wanted to try the web UI from Automatic 1111, uh, but I ran into an issue with Torch and it seems that you have to be on a specific version of Python. So it seems that uh, there are ways to fix that. Um, but in the end, I settled for easy diffusion. So you can download it for Linux. Uh, this is actually the download link. So as soon as you hover above it, then you can see the underlying. Uh, I already downloaded it, I extracted it, and then what you have to do is just execute the start script. So the first time it will take quite a while to set things up, but I already uh, did that. Uh, sometimes uh, this page doesn't come up the first time, but then you can just uh, refresh it after a couple of seconds and then probably it will be there. Um, it might happen that it will start like looking like this. Um, but then if you look careful, there is a little plus here. so. Here you can see that it opens up and you can do a lot of things. Um, while Stable Diffusion is loading, the browser might get a bit unresponsive, uh, even up to the point that it will show a pop-up, uh, giving you the option to uh, quit or just wait. So. Probably just wait and after a couple of seconds uh, it will uh, become responsive again. Um, you can see that I already have a couple of model files. Uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5 is the one that comes standard. And So in the documentation, uh, there's also a link for downloading uh, Stable Diffusion XL. And once you've downloaded it, then you can just, uh, yeah, we're in model, Stable Diffusion, and just put the file here and then Easy Diffusion will uh, pick it up automatically or when you've already started the program then you can just uh, refresh it. Uh, I've done a couple of tests and with some model files that are based on Stable Diffusion XL I was able to go up to 768. Well, I didn't try any of the others um, other than 1024, but that didn't work just yet. 
Um, and perhaps that's why you can see that Vito Plantamura did almost like magic that he was able to run Stable Diffusion XL in less than half a gigabyte of memory. So currently we're on version 3.0.7 of Easy Diffusion. So perhaps in the future uh, they can optimize the memory a bit more. Um, uh, so you can generate images with a bigger size, but probably for now to stay on the safe side, it's better to stay on 512 by 512. Um, yeah, Easy Diffusion has a, a lot of options. Um, yeah, also like the output formats, JPEG, Ping, WebP. Um, I guess just to start, you can uh, keep things like default, uh, perhaps just change the uh, model file. If you're feeling a bit adventurous, uh, there's also image modifiers. So one of the things that you can probably have a idea is uh, that you can generate images in a certain style um, yeah probably Picasso is a very distinctive style um, and you can choose between landscape mode and faces Um, yeah, probably there are lots and lots of websites uh, and also like tutorial videos on YouTube that will tell you more about all the options that are available. Uh, I think it's a bit too much um, to go through all of them. Uh, to be honest, I haven't even tried all of them yet, so... <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to uh, tell you everything. Uh, I did already test a couple of things. Um, yeah, so here you can see that I did manage to generate an image 768 by 768 uh, with the Epic Realism XL model. But again, it's probably better just to stay on 512 by 512. Yeah. As soon as you have a generated image, uh, when you hover above the image, you get all kinds of options. And Oh yeah, the first time that you start it, uh, and it opens the browser, um, I allowed it to store some persistent storage. Because, yeah, you can say that the browser is actually the engine, um, and that it is uh, like a, a web application. And then it's better to allow persistent storage. So again, the Epic Realism model XL, 768 by 768. Here you can see that it took 36 minutes. So yeah, let's just say um, roughly uh, 40 minutes that you should take that into account and of course it can also uh, change between different model files So if you want to get some more model files, you can go to civit.ai. And well, they also 
are a platform where you can upload your own images to show them to the world. And here you have model files. Um, yeah, there are different kinds of model files. For instance, here it says LoRa. So that is not, uh, let's just say a base model. And if we go to easy diffusion uh, models, then you can see that there's also a separate directory for LoRa. So you have to put them in the right folder. So for instance, um, I think this one is also quite popular, Epic Photogasm. Um, here you can also see where it is based on, so Stable Diffusion 1.5. And I also used Epic Realism XL. And here you can see that it is based on Stable Diffusion 1.0. So, yeah, being able uh, to run Intel and AMD software on Linux, it will make things a whole lot easier. I tried to install Easy Diffusion on my Raja Rock 5B, but during the installation, I already saw that one of the modules it failed or one of the components failed and at the end i got an error about sd kit so yeah unfortunately i wasn't able to run it on arm um well they do have uh, a version for mac uh, but that's probably really specific for mac os uh, well, Apple does have an ARM chip, but yeah, apparently there's no support for Linux ARM. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.